Hi, I'm Katie. I've been surrounded with vintage goodies most of my life. But just in the last 10 years, I've figured out just how much delight I get from having it in my home and looking at it for other people. Come along as I share my shopping adventures at thrift stores, estate sales, and sometimes even along the curb. I will also be showing some of my decorating projects that I've completed and how I have chosen to add vintage to my home for a modern granny chic look. I hope you will find joy along the way as we reawaken vintage. Well, hi everybody. We are going to check out the Assistance League thrift store here in my local town. They have 50% off their housewares today, so let's see if there's any vintage goodies. In the past there has been. This is one of those places now that actually has a sticker that says vintage that they put on their items. So let's Okay, here we go. 50% off sign, I see it. Let's see if any of these vintage goodies are a good deal now. It's a pretty platter. I don't think it's vintage. It's got some flower plates. We'll make this a quick trip today. Well, let's see. These are not too, too vintage. Really not, not super, not that desirable. This is cute, but I don't think that's very old either. Let's check. I think it's probably from... Let's see. Oh, it says made in Japan, guys. So it is three dollars. I think I will get that. That's a good deal. Okay, let's see what else. These are pretty, not not only the pretty dishes. See what I'm saying? It says vintage on it. It says as is. It's got a lot of crazing in it and just utensil marks. We'll skip that. Let's see what's down here. Some blue plates. Okay, oh, now this. That is cool. What do you think? Yeah, okay. It's only $2 half off. Okay, we're getting some good deals here. More vintage pretty plates, but again, not too many plates are going to sell. Oh, no, nothing there. This is kind of different. I'm not going to get it, but it's different. Okay, I saw these last time. They're really cool. They're not vintage, if I remember. But they have that vintage feel and look to them. They're pretty cool. Okay, let's see. Now these. Those are amazing. Those are amazing. Football players. Half off. Okay. It's been a good trip so far. These don't look very... Not that desirable. Let's see here. Let's hope, even though it says vintage, that it is still 50% off. That would be sad. Okay. Let some people get past me here while I look on this side. Pretty. These are cute. Again, not vintage, but they're cute. A plate from New York. Japanese items. They've got all organized. Pretty, but don't need them. This is pretty. That's not not vintage though. Okay. Think this is pretty, but no. Okay. Kind of stuck here. Let's see if we can get past. Excuse me. Some glasses, but none of those are really. That vintage, everything else there is clear. This is cute, but there's only one of them. Right. It's just plastic. Let's look over here. No, not vintage. Let's see, no Pyrex. This is where. It would be, we get one Pyrex lid. I wonder if someone just wants the lid. I might try it, it's only 50 cents with the half off. Somebody might need just the lid. Is that you? Let me know if it is. Just clear there. 
Okay, nothing there. Plastic, I gotta go turn around here in a second. Let's see what I've got. That's not the, oh, this is, this is like, oh my goodness, it's like the coffee one, but it's missing its lid. But it would only be a dollar. Would you buy it without the lid? I don't know, it's a big item to keep in my house if someone doesn't want it though. It's super cute, but what would you do without the lid? Okay, I'm gonna try it just because it's only a dollar. We'll see. <laughs> that might be something I'm giving away in no time. Let's look at this one. That one is made in China, so we will pass on that one. It's pretty with the elephant, but it's not vintage. Let's look here. These are cute. These are the retro, right? Made to look vintage, but they're not. They're my color, too. That's dangerous, but... <laughs> okay, clear glass. Anything else I'm missing here? Beer stein. Okay. Making sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, we've got the Tupperware, but it's missing. It would have a thing on top of it that it's missing, so that's a bummer. Okay, I'm gonna go around. Oh, all of these, everything's all crowded. We're gonna wait. Okay, we hadn't done in this section. Not vintage, but just beautiful glass bowl. Wow, that is stunning. These have some age to them. Let's see what they say. It's got like some gummy stuff on it. Hmm. I don't know. They're cool, but they just... They're not speaking to me. Now these ones have a little bit more cool design to them. Same brand. They're cheaper too, surprisingly. I just like the, the colors better. Four dollars each. And then it comes with a plate as well. Oh no, the plate doesn't match. Oh. No, the plate doesn't really match exactly. It's like a standalone, but it's the same brand. This is really pretty. That's not vintage. Made in Tunisia. So I think, I'm gonna double check. I think I'll get these two. Very spring type colors. So I'm doing pretty good here today, guys. Doing pretty good. Just really making sure there's no chips on anything. Okay. Still wondering about that flower one. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Alright, I'll ponder later. <laughs> okay, let's go over to this side. This is where they have all their dish sets. Oh, look at it here. That's, none of that's old. All the dish sets. I don't want a whole dish set, but if there's something that stands out, that's definitely got iridescent to it, but I just don't think they sell very well. Got little pieces in here. Very cute. Does this match? Does that match this second plate here that I got? Where's the other? Oh, I didn't end up getting the plate. <laughs> oh, I'm so confused. That one's okay, but I'll skip that one. Okay. Sets of china are not, not usually something that I want to purchase. And that's mainly what's over here. Okay, I think this is, the last section is 50% off. We'll go and look at the rest just out of curiosity, right? Because we're here. But I think that's going to be it. I'm going down the ramp. Wish me luck. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're in the back, so this stuff is not 50% off. And lately it's been really expensive, so this is made out of wood. Not that exciting. Let's see, he looks vintage. I want $5. I don't know. Let me look this up and see what it is when I have a minute. We'll look that one up. It has the Japan mark on the bottom. Let's see. This is a self-made piece. Oh, we still have, if you've watched the other ones, we still have the boots. Even when they were half off, they didn't sell. 
blue section. Priest. Got an old. Oh, they went ten dollars for it. It's really cool, but the, the handle's all melted. Got an old flower sifter. Not for ten dollars. Maybe if it had graphics on it. <laughs> the big cat is still here. It's been here for a month. Oh. glass bowl but not for $20 like I said everything has gotten a little more pricey so that's why we're here at half off price day right <laughs> that's about the only time it makes any sense I wonder if this is uranium it probably is $25 so they they probably know okay let's see don't see anything here that's vintage chest. Okay, let's turn around. Let's see what's back here. Do this end of the table first. Brass stuff. Let's see. Any cruels here? My goodness. Okay. Bells. You collect bells. Anybody out there collect bells? Okay, let me go check out this on Google Lens. I'll be right back. Okay, so I was trying to sell one of these for $42. <laughs> what am I missing? I'm wondering if this little spot is glue. I don't know. We'll give it a try. It's $5. I don't know why anybody would be selling that for 42 but... Okay, we're going to go over the craft section. This catches my eye. No. No pass. Okay. Let's see about any of these stuff. <laughs> Nothing there. Let's see if there's any vintage towels. Don't see any. Okay, no vintage towels. I see an afghan, but like I said, they, I'll get to the crafts in a minute. They have not been selling. This one is gorgeous. They only want $5 for it. Oh, see why it's so hard? This is huge, guys. Just huge, like it would fit on a bed. For five dollars, I want to make sure it's not fifteen. No, it's five. Okay, it's a good thing I like them in my house too, because right now this is like Lakers colors. <laughs> Let's get that. Okay, none of the sheets are vintage. Okay, let's go over to the craft section. This is so pretty, so pretty. Okay, this looks like it's not vintage. It's just made to look vintage. Yeah, no mark. I don't think it's vintage. Cute little wood table. Okay, let's go over here. It's electronic stuff over there. Let's see what we've got. This catches my eye. Just because it has the red pom-poms. Oh, just a happy birthday sign. Cute. Alright, so I like the paper stuff here. birthday stuff. Just looking for like vintage stationery. Stuff like that. Birthday stuff. Don't see any vintage stationery. Okay, this is craft books and stuff like that over here. 
there's any cool kits. Don't see any. Some yarn. Anything I can craft with. I've actually started crafting a little bit, guys. I'll have to show you. Maybe I'll do it at the end of this video. I'll show you some of the things I made that I'm going to have up for sale. Okay, don't see anything there. I'm looking for like white fuzzy, almost like, you know, like a feather bow up, but like tiny, like, you know, this size for my crafting. Christmas pine cones. Another sign. Just some material remnants. Ooh, lots of beads. So far I see no feather boas. <laughs> Nothing like that. These are kind of similar, but not quite the same. Can't tell what that is. Well, lots of scraps of material. I want to say that bag of bows was here last time. Oh, somebody started something, started to crochet something. Zippers. All right, guys. I think we are at the end, so I will do my wrap-up video here and show you the things I crafted. Another sign. Somebody must have made a bunch of signs and donated them all. There's a ton of them. There are a ton of them. My goodness. I've never seen so many plastic silverware. Just a bunch of patterns. Let's see if it any of this stuff is cool stuff. Nope. All right, guys, hang on. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. Okay, I promised you I would show you the things I've been crafting. So let me pull one out. So this is what I have been doing. These are vintage doll heads. And I've taken some flowers. Sorry, that petal on that one's a little wonky. And some other little goodies. And made and they're on picks already. That's how the doll heads came. How cute is that? Let me show you. I made them with each one with a little different, a little different flower, a little different as far as what's on top. This one has a button there and a button you can't really see, but there's a button right there. We've got this one. We've got this one there oopsie and this one this one has a little extra bling with some pearls so my thought is I've got some more doll heads I've got some larger ones is that um, I've made six I'm gonna be selling them for ten dollars a piece and then um, some of the other ones I have I'm gonna try to make like holiday themed ones so like Memorial Day slash Fourth of July fall ones Halloween ones etc so let me know what you think are these creative are they worth ten bucks I would love your feedback. Okay, wrap up video real quick. Now that these are out of the package, you can see just how amazing these are. Salt and pepper. Just super, super cute. I'm excited to sell those. My elf platter. And I realized this is the same brand as these things are. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Somebody must have been a big collector of this particular brand and uh, donated it all. We've got the Pyrex lid. We've got the coffee canister. And yes, the flower canister. I did get it. How about, I thought it would make a super cute like utensil holder or even a planter. And then, of course, so this is folded in half over some dining room chairs. This is a huge Afghan blanket. It is amazing. I would love to keep it for myself, but I know I will be selling it. So, as always, we thank you so much for watching Janice and I as we go and find these goodies. If you're interested in anything, you have any questions, you can email us at reawakenvintage at gmail.com. And if you haven't yet, clicking that subscribe button, we would be so grateful if you would do so. Until later, bye-bye.